In somewhat of a surprise, Ron Paul won the straw man poll at CPAC last week. He has said about the United States foreign policy, I believe our founding fathers had it right when they argued for peace and commerce between nations and against entangling political and military alliances. In other words, non-interventionism. And uh, one of your heroes, Thomas Jefferson, insisted on entangling alliances with no one. How would you respond now to Jefferson and Paul? And do you think Jefferson would have a different stance if he were alive today? You know, I'm with Jefferson on that, though not with Mr. Paul, or what I imagine his interpretation of that would be, because Jefferson was anything but an isolationist. Jefferson actually believed the United States should be an empire. It didn't have the connotations it does then. Um, doubled the size of the United States by dealing with the French. Um, would have made Cuba part of the U.S. along with Florida. Hope for that to happen one day. I don't know what Mr. Paul would have said about that. Let's take a present case. And what could be nicer for all concerned than for us to have a free trade agreement with the good people of Persia? Great civilization. Um, incomparable, actually. Um, tremendous resources, highly intelligent people, completely locked out of the world by a fetid theocracy that won't allow um, normal relations to be resumed, with, really with any country, not just the United States, because of its ideology, because it, it would rather go for a warfare policy, bankrupt its people, leave them open to the next catastrophic earthquake, which is going to be in Tehran, does nothing to earthquake-proof the country, builds nuclear facilities underground, um, makes irrational attacks on what I would call, there's no need for the prefix Western, civilization. Made them every kind of offer we can come back into the fold. President Obama even said he wants the Islamic Republic back into the fold, which I don't think it's possible. It's because it's an Islamic Republic that it's out of the fold. So what does Ron Paul say about that? I bet you he says President Obama joins the drumbeat for war, which of course he isn't doing. This, this is not a choice that we have conditioned. So just to take the most salient example I can think of from the front pages, it means that what Ron Paul says is essentially empty.